Hi guys, in this video I'm going to expand on the last video on the for loops, for next loops, and talk about nested for next loops. So, uh, so what we saw last time was that um, we have the sheet here and we loop through this column dynamically and we were able to set the background color and check some criteria like is this is it Jim or Bob or whatever and you, you could do that um, so you can also um, loop through let's say we could set up a loop like this we could do dim row uh, let me do R as in, as long and then dim C as long and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna loop through this range here I'm going to get a range, I'm going to loop through it, right? So watch. Um, how, how would you do that? Before we just looped through a column, right? It was just like a vector. But now we're going to loop through like a matrix. So what you do is for r equal to 1, to, and now I'm, I'm just going to put a static number here, 10. I'm going to put next r. And what I'm going to do now is say cells... Uh, cells r comma c dot select okay and let me just set the value of c equal to one up here okay and let me scroll this down so now you know this we would loop we, we could loop through a column right uh, or, or loop through a column and in our case we would loop through column one but what happens when we're done with looping through column one let's say I wanna I wanna loop through more columns so you could do that by doing something like this uh, for C equal to 1 to 10 so what I did here is I said I'm gonna go down 10 rows and now what I'm saying here is I'm gonna go over 10 columns and then I'm gonna do next C equal net or next C, and what I'm going to do here now is set the value of. I can actually move this inside here, so I'm going to select this this cell, and I'm going to set the value of this cell equal to, and let me just do something here. Um, I could do so. There's a function in Excel VBA called C string. And you could put, you could convert a number to a string real quick. And then I'm going to put this ampersand. And I'm going to convert the, that, that C there to a string. And then I'm going to, outside here, I'm going to put row, row, that's the row. And then here's the space, call put something here so if you're not familiar with this don't worry uh, all I'm doing is you know I want to I want to show you uh, maybe I'll just put C yeah so what I want to show you is that you can inside the value of a cell you can put like a string like this and but my string needs to contain these numbers and to do that you use a, a VBA function this CSTR when you put a number in there it allows you to write it like a string okay so what we'll, we'll, let's see what what this thing does um, when we step through this let's just step through so here I step through up to this point where cells RC is selected right so in our case R is 1 and C is 1 and I could see that uh, well R, R is 1 and C is 1 and now I'm going to put that string in there. And here you go. R1, C1. That comes from this thing right here. The value is equal to this. R, you use this ampersand when you want to append things to a string. So you use your, your uh, quotation marks and you put a string inside. And then if you want to append things to that string, you use an ampersand. And you could append variables or um, other strings but you could do it like this. You use the ampersand and then the variable. For a variable, you don't use quotations. You just do it like that. And if the variable is a number, though, you need to put C string around it. Okay? So now watch what happens. So now um, column is going to be 
incremented. Okay, so now we're going to increment column. But notice that since we nested this for loop inside here, all we're going to do is move over one column. So now if I select this cell, here I, I, I moved over one column, right? And now I'm going to put, you know, R1, C2. So R stands for row and C stands for column. So this is row one, column one, row one, column two. And now if I run this thing, if I just press run, you know, well, let, let me see what happens. I'll put a breakpoint here. And if I put a breakpoint there, what's going to happen is after it falls out of this loop, we're going to be able to see what happens. So let me just run this now. And look what happened. So we have R1C1, R1C2, R1C3. So it looped through this whole row ten uh, through 10 columns. So that's, that's what this nested loop did. And now if I do it again, if I run this again, you know, R is going to be incremented here. So R is now going to be 2. And it's going to compare it to 10. It's going to say, is 2 greater than 10? And it's not. So it's going to do this again, this other loop again. So let me just run this again. And there you go. You got R2C1, R2C1, or R2C2, right? So now if I just take this thing off, I think you understand what's going on. I could take the breakpoint off, if I can select it. Oh, it won't let me get it. Oh, I might have just run. I can't really select it. So I'm just going to keep running it, but you can see what's happening over here. Let me try to move this over. As I keep running it, it's looping through, right? And here we are, uh, r is, is equal to 9, so if I increment this, uh, let me just step through here, r is going to be 10, but it, 10 is okay, remember? It has to be greater than 10 to fall out of this main loop. Okay, so now we could run it again, and there we are. And r is going to be now 11, so it will be greater than 10, and it will fall out of this loop, and there it did. It fell out of the loop. And what we have left is this thing we just loop through a whole matrix. So that's pretty cool. You could nest four loops together and you could loop through the matrices, right? So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, if I, I have a couple minutes left and let me think about... Uh, you, you can also in these four loops do things like step two or step three and what this step does is it's instead of going to the next row it's going to add two to R so if we do this again let me just clear this out if I run this again that's all this step thing does if you if you're if you're curious about that is if I run this uh, let's see Um, yes, well, it's good that i doing this spon spontaneously. Um, okay. So let me try something else here. I just want to show you that you, you can keep nesting, you can keep nesting your loops. So, uh, let's try to do something like, and step two. Let's see how, if this can work. Let me debug this because I don't know what's going on here. Uh, add a watch. R equals to one. Oh, this thing was there. Uh, Somehow this got transferred down here. I don't know how that happened. Sorry about that. I was missing it. I was looking at something else. Sorry. Okay. So, if we run this now, you can see what happened. I'm sorry for that delay. But what's happening is because I put step two in here now, it's it, instead of going to the next row, step two makes it go to... Uh, two rows below. So if I just take this off, if I can ever get it, no, I can't get it off. Well, let me just stop that and take it off. And I'll rerun it again, and you'll see what happens. 
you know so look what happened um, I did step two right I said from R1 to go to 10 step two so what it does is it goes from R1 to R3 to R5 to R7 to R9 and you can see that here R1 R3 R5 R7 R9 and then it got to 11 and it stopped so you're not going to get 10 rows anymore you're go displaying it's going to go through um, this upper bound right it's going to start at one and uh, incrementing two along the way so if you want 10 displays of this then you gotta increment this up to 20 right so now if we do this uh, there we go we have our r13579 11 13 15 19 uh, what is that three six nine yeah ten so um, yeah that's how you could do you could use step and watch what happens if we also step the column we're gonna step the column over to so let me clear this out and now we'll get something a little bit cooler um, if I run this now so look at what happened now so now you're getting things like spaced out using this we're stepping the rows and we're stepping the columns and now you're gonna have to expand your upper bound even more if you want to get really what you want so I'm, I'm just putting an, you know an arbitrary number here but I want to show you that you could use these step things to uh, you know if you don't want to go to the next row you could always go to you know the rows way outside so here there we are we have a bunch of let me also expand this step to so I'm just putting arbitrary numbers in here but I, I think you get the idea is that all this loop is doing look how fast it does that is that you know you're 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 doing the same thing you're just looping through a matrix but now you have the ability to you know step more than you know instead of the next row step over two more rows and two more rows down and that's what you can do so that's that's uh, pretty cool um, let's see now one more thing is that um, I just want to show you that you can also do another for loop in here for uh, I'm just gonna put x equal to 1 to 100 then I'm gonna put uh, next x and then I'm gonna put uh, x is equal to um, x plus 1 no let's see I'll do something like this um, C string just so, just to get more familiar with that C string C string X plus C string X and instead of this, putting this in there, I'm going to put so I, I think I should do this uh, str plus c string x. So the, I'm going to put a string in here in, in this cell. And what's it, what it's going to do? It's going to let me run this. So look now what it does. Um, instead of those cells, you know, I I put in the cell. I put I I, I looped from one to a hundred in the cell. So the value in these cells is now, you know, one to a hundred. So I used a for loop to generate a string. And that string is 1 to 100. And that's what I did here. Um, I don't know if, if you understand that or what I did here, but I just did three. Now I nested another loop, three nested loops. And in the last one, I made a string that has the numbers 1 to 100. And that's what this thing does right here. So you can see for loops are powerful. They can loop through matrices and you can loop through you could loop through numbers and you could make strings and you could loop through words. You could do anything. So uh, email me if you have questions. 
Remember, go to ExcelVBA, If you want to watch free videos, bye.